Hey gang, it's Brian from DrawDog.com making my video debut here. I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you how to do the HTC Hero update for Sprint. The official release was uh, leaked today. Uh, it's all over the internet. Uh, the folks at Android Central posted it and, uh, and I did it. So without further ado, here we go. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to uh, HTC's support site and download the latest version of sync. Uh, if you already have the latest version you can skip this but it's always good to have the latest version. What that gives you is the USB drivers so that the computer can recognize your phone. Then you want to go ahead to this file sharing site. I'll post a link on YouTube and in uh, and in the post here uh, and download the uh, the actual update. It is an exe file to the best of my knowledge is not some sort of virus. Uh, download it here, you have to wait 40 seconds. I've already downloaded it, so we're going to skip this step. After you download it, just click it to launch. It's like any other executable. Uh, and run. Uh, keep in mind, you don't have to actually have HTC Sync running. You just needed it for the drivers if you, uh, if you didn't already have them. While that's all loading, I'll show you that phone hooked up to USB. You can see all the little logos at the top. Um, it's on. Uh, it's all hooked up. Here we go. Welcome to the ROM update utility for your Android phone. Caution: Installing this update will delete all the information and data on your phone. We recommend that you review the README first for important information before continuing. I understand these cautions and would like to continue. This utility updates the ROM. During the update, uh, ROM update utility will upgrade ROM image on your Android phone. Okay, next. Turn your Android phone on. Connect to the PC with USB cable, which I've already done. Disable the standby and hibernation mode on your PC. Make sure that the battery power is more than 30%. I've completed these steps. Verifying information on your Android phone. Please wait. So here's the current information. It uh, has my latest image here. Uh, and then it just says select this to update. Alright, next screen is from image 1.56.651.2 to image 2.27.651.5. During the update process, the following things will occur. The Android phone will be prepared for the update process. The progress information will be displayed on both the PC and the phone. The update completed screen will be displayed on your PC. Next. Okay. The phone just turned off. I'll try to do a side by side here. So sending. Now there's a progress bar on the phone. Phone just rebooted. Computer says rebooting Android phone. Congratulations, your ROM update has been completed. So we'll do first boot here. This is the new boot screen. The old one was black.
Ah, oh, much better uh, animation. The last one looked like it was an animated GIF from 1994. A little haptic feedback from something. There we go. Screen locked, drag down. And uh, here we are. Skip all these for now. Still has Facebook, Twitter, and Flickr. I'd like to see LinkedIn and even MySpace for the folks that still use it. Uh, this is asking me what I want to do with the PC connection. This was uh, we saw this on the Incredible. Uh, it defaults to, defaults to charge only if you don't do anything, um, but we saw that on the Incredible. So it's nothing new. So we're loading sense for the first time. And there it is. We got the leap. Calendar widget's been updated. Let's check to see if uh, the animations happen on the, the home screen. Yep. Yeah. So the clock widget does have the animations. It's clear out, or else it would uh, would do something else. But um, as you saw, it got a little little foggy, a little hazy around the clouds or around the moon. Um, so yeah. Oh, the the one thing a lot of people were saying is that it doesn't have wall, live wallpaper. So we'll uh, we'll explore that. Yep. Home screen, lock screen uh, are the only two that you can change. Uh, this is actually different from what's on the Incredible. On the Incredible, you can't actually change the lock screen. The lock screen displays whatever's on the home screen uh, for a background. So there's there's no live wallpaper there. One last thing. I want to uh, actually show the about phone stuff. Here we go. About phone. Scroll down, software info. Here we go. Firmware version 2.1, update one. That's it. That's the update. I'll uh, I'll probably post a full review on it later. After I get a chance to dig through the widgets and find out where everything goes.